guys, Red and Black TV here on the match review of Newcastle 2. Bournemouth 1 ended at St James's Park in a uh, back to back defeat, unfortunately, for Bournemouth. And unfortunately, we have in that situation picks up two injuries onto our 25 man squad. First injury coming to Adam Smith going down off a free kick, grabbing down on into his ankle and having to take oxygen. Um, on the stretcher before getting stretched off off the pitch. Um, round of applause from everyone at St James's Park, including the home fans, plus the obvious Bournemouth fans. We uh, he's got a scan later this week. Um, hopefully, it's not as bad as it is, uh, but it could be a long, lengthy um, side sideline for Adam Smith. Unfortunately, the other one comes to Jefferson Lima, who came off at half time regarding a potential hamstring injury. Maybe it was just a precaution um, through Jefferson Lerma, who did get our only goal of the game just before the break, three minutes into the eight minutes of added time for the first half. But again, we don't know about that. We had the introductions back of Charlie Daniels in the back line for the substitute replacing Adam Smith and Dan Gosling replacing Jefferson Lerma at the break. First goal and second goal, both coming from Solomon Rondon. Uh, the defence looks a bit slacked um, and Newcastle on their day were the better team. End-to-end -end football, really good. Could have had a lot of goals involved in this game. Solomon Rondon could have also got multiple more. Um, past Asma Begovic, who had a fine, exceptional performance, pulling off some key saves left, and left right and centre. First goal, though, coming in, uh, ball into the middle of the box. There is Solomon Rondon to take a shot. First one saved from Asma Begovic. But the second is too much for Asma Begovic as he slots underneath, um, down past the left side of him. Second goal, uh, classic number nine from Solomon Rondon. Coming in from the box, a lovely floating ball in from Kennedy into the middle. And there's Solomon Rondon to head it. A powerful strike from his head into the roof of, well, kind of roof of the net. And very hard for Asma Begovic to even have the chance to save that. Um, going into our goal. Uh, classic coming in from the corner, finds Jefferson Lerma, who loops, uh, heads it, looping it over all the players and landing into the bottom right-hand corner, giving us a potential of a comeback, which unfortunately did not happen. Multiple chances from Bournemouth to even get back in this game also, as well as Newcastle's odd occasional chance. Um, both teams really, really testing the goalies out. Jordan Ibe, unfortunately, when I saw him starting, uh, I didn't have much hope for what Jordan I will produce. Hopefully he will surprise me again one day. Uh, last season he produced a lot of key moments for Bournemouth it really impressed me. But at the moment he's, he's, he's inconsistency um, and he really needs to step up to the plate. If you want to play in this starting 11, you have to earn your place. He has his, had his shot today due to a injury to Junior Stanislas and he skied it over the bar. Composure lacking in the sh in the chance um but with five minutes to go also dan gosling pulling putting the ball into the back of the net um from a corner kind of situation and coming outside the box ball back in if it can't doesn't come off i think it was if it doesn't come off nathan ake it's um it's a it's a perfectly accepted goal. Portrait comes off Ake to lead Dan Gosling to be in an offside position from the original ball. Which, before it came off Ake, he was onside. So, unfortunately, we uh, fell to a bit of unlucky um, misfortune there. Uh, but, unfortunately, now we have got an international break, two-week break, before we host the Gunners at home, who recently did uh, draw at to Wolves a uh, late goal from Henrik Mkhitaryan from the outside of the box so hopefully we do quite well um, over the international break through the potential Callum Wilson can he get a goal for England well I'll we'll keep our fingers crossed but if you want to watch more ball flag content subscribe to, um, to the channel see the first one to hear about previews reviews potential match press conference I am thinking about bringing in um, press conferences uh, press conference was a view of um, Eddie Howe just to get some reaction, uh, a little bit of extra news, trying to pump out a few more videos than the regular preview and review for the channel. But I've been Matt on Red and Black TV, and I'll see you next time.